as a player. Individual playmaking is what he's known best for, and this is a champion that he absolutely loves to play. And especially when there's Alistar on the other team, that's huge. As Ari does get locked in, Ari top. We is it Ari top or is he a top? Well, that's a good question. I mean, Ari avoided each other here. They're both setting up for a gank in mid, but they don't know that the other jungle is here. Preskow, he's got no mana. It's gone to Duck. He might have to flash, but Electric won't let him out. Normal Daglas. First blood there while Elioia tries to run on in onto Daglas now. He shifts his attention. He's got Conqueror here, so staying in combat feels yeah, good. Now. But thinks about roaming to the bottom side with that massive mid wave we just saw pushed in. They still have all their summoner spells. MBK is suspicious of it. Knock up here, he doesn't find it, but Alvaro matches. Instead, he might die, but look at what they've used. Onto Alvaro next is Video. Without level six, though, he can't do too much more, or maybe he can. Flash forward and Video autos for the kill. He can't ever stay here. He has to back six. off. Destiny coming through. Remember, El Yoya can't turn the lights off. As he brings his shield up, the gold card waited out of Skond of Duct. It's going to be blocked, though, in the meantime. The Ari and the Spirit Rush. His great vitality getting low, but Frescali running on in. Wait for the shuffle into melee range. Merwin's damage cannot be denied. And Frescali doesn't even need the old charm. Comes back in, though. Disrespect from vitality. As Photon's going to get Beardy gold cards on the way out, but Video can't re engage. That wins ult used. Destiny used by Photon. But with those mid laners and now junglers joining with their level six as well, build that skirmishing up a little bit more. MDK were able to get a grub, by the way, so it's not a 3 0 start. The dragon has been started off. They want this. Level sixes have come through. He engages onto Hilly. He's not level six himself. But Video is looking for a hijack in the back line while Douglas gets in the Magnus Storm. Super ulti, though. Root out. Video re engages. Scott of Douglas. Good for Fred Scowie. Only on a one man target. Video had stolen away the big mega cow ulti. And so Fred Scowie, as he runs through his life with the chain slash, forcing it out. There's the as a quick tangent. Well, Video continues to try and control mid lane quite a bit. There's the ulti now flying through. The paranoia from Elio is going to result in a fear meal and with the charm as well. And Video cannot move. Shut down over to El Yoya. And just it like should be an easy secure for Vitality. They know they have the push in bot. Nocturne resetting. A bit of vision invested around the map. That ward on the Wolves in particular should indicate that the pro play. Okay, pro well, should be grateful. Now, while Vettius' ego holds on for the time being, let's look at the play. Daklas misses to jump over the wall. Now might have to Magnet Storm out. He just gets hit with everything, though, and doesn't want to burn the ulti. Sits here, looks for the grub still, but in front of his own eyes, he dies while the grubs are taken from his hand. Four for MDK in the end. Means Vitality. Oh, is in fact going for the full AP top Ari. Oh yeah, yeah, Paranoia comes through. Remember, he's got that spell shield for the gold card. He can hold on to it as the flea comes through as well. There's nothing this TF can do. Photon has to sit and watch him die as well. Another kill for... He will want, win out 1v1 against most champs thanks to his spell shield and his fear. And so if you don't have flash, you're just... You're likely going to die. So great stuff from MDK. Video of Scott of Dark actually has to steal the Alistar ult. Alvaro might be in trouble himself, but holds onto his flash and ulti then pulls it out. We're getting an all-in engage off the back of that. The Magnus Storm starts it off. The Destiny's coming in as well. But Video's low. Alvaro's low. Hilly's low. Look who else is low. It's Daklas in the middle again, who gets taken out. And fearing for his life now, Kazi versus Mia when it's happening. But Kazi doing okay, waiting for the charm to come through. Orbit Deception and Spirit Rush. A Q and a shutdown. While meanwhile, Alvaro, that cow is free range, man. Man, yeah, someone... Completely disengaging. They've chosen not to overstay. Vitality can start this objective up oh, again. Lord. Paranoia stolen away. Remember again, Alvaro going to burn his ulti, but he's by himself. The poke from Kazi helps out as that is one tanky cow, but finally becomes poultry. Excuse me, meat again. That's definitely not right. As Vitality now <laughs> has to be that MDK are able to trade neutral objectives, even though Vitality want to come late to the show. Maybe they can even crash this into the tier two. Mirwin will be in a position to contest, but we think back to that previous play. Photon did end up losing. Knowing of what's going to come next. Now, speaking of coming next, Tarot is going to be taking the bot side. So this is the first turret of the game for MDK. Much is now all coming together. Oh, <laughs> too many years of Maple Story mixed in with, you know, 10 years of being in gold in League of Legends. It's ulti for ulti. That's what I'm expecting. Freskawi finally brings it out, but that's the third turret shot. Video forces the flash. you in now hovers. We're getting spicy in River because Alvaro's up next. Destiny as well. They come in in a blink of a moment. It's Trishop Barrage almost, but it is a shutdown over to Photon. Well, now re engage. Paranoia is going to be used as quickness as well. Double ulti out, but remember that Paranoia was to disengage. So Mad Koi want to be out of there. A flash from Alvaro in front of the Baron. Not what you want to see if you're a Mad fan. As now the Baron starts with five vitality healthy members. The Baron is started off. MDK still have their jungler. Mewen doesn't have ulti. El Goya doesn't have ulti. What are you going to do? He has flash and he's got smite and maybe that's all he needs. The Baron down to 5k. Okay, video has got to do something here. He's going to steal away the paranoia in response. Kazi goes out with an arcane shift. There's a re-engage. Magnus Storm as well, but the charm! 
Wow, the charm may have saved the play. Super trying to do the same as well. They're off the Baron. Kazi wants something in. Hilly flashes. He's like, yeah, TP. Why we can. Mewen running for his life. Alvaro is now back on him. But Kazi in a weird position while Super gets a kill over the wall. These anti carries need to cook up a little bit more. But Kazi in a 1v2 makes it harder. Super Kazi. gets flashed on the range. Not there. Frescawi needs to help out. We asked for chaos and already in game one, it is delivery. I like mean, a rubber boot in a Garzi, large pond. How is Kazi going to get out of this? I don't know, but also like a rubber boot in a large pond. You are sinking, Kazi, as he almost takes out all your... You have to respect it. You have to respect that Kazi played them for a fool for the most part. I mean... What even was that in the action? Oh, I love Steely Dan. Let's go back, Jack. Do it again. Frescawi launched on. He goes golden. He's buying time for this TP as Mewen comes on in. Video now in harm's way. Spirit Rush can't be used in his own sake. And now there's a reset for Mewen. There's also a paranoia that sets up MDK. They're punished. Look how hard. Special kills. Now can Vitality interrupt. I mean, Hilly has ulti as well. Kazi can't start to poke in. MDK are burning the health bar as well. And they're trying to zone off Alvaro. Ulti's immediately, but this time, Baron's going to be taken down. And MDK pick it up. Destiny used by Photon as El Yoya tries to charge him down. Won't let him get out, but with that flash away, space is through. Gold card buys him time. TP on the top of this fight. Super gets the kill. Video's joined on in. He wants to clean up. He gets the shutdown. Yet, like the sixth one here, the feathers now ready to fly. Out. Super can't get the flash play. A shutdown that goes to Kazi. Who can give the most gold over? Clap, clap. Shutdown <laughs> goes over. Clap, clap. Alvaro running away. Clap, clap. And guess what, Alvaro? You ignite. And dead you go. Clap. He was looking, he was hunting, he was searching for Friscawi, but it's not going to be a kill. What Clutch what? player, I believe he does W into... Oh, we don't get to see it. Bit of a shame. This is happening again. Wait, Hilly's caught out this time. Paranoia going to be used. They're baiting it in. Friscawi flies, but Super gets the kill. Yeah, and yeah. it's all about who can get that collapse first, making these games very back and forth, because you'll see situations where Vitality are in a better position to get the picks, and it all comes down to the ultimates from Twisted Fate Nocturne, the TP usage from the Silas and the Ari, along with the fact that Silas can steal Nocturne's ultimate away as well. Where is the Rakan? Where is the Alistair? We're never really getting oh, full. Press are we dead? Again, another collapse! Another, again, another, you're right. I mean, again, it's just all about the picks. Frescawi's going to go golden a second time. He just picked up Zonyas. There's a Magnus Storm, but Frescawi flashes away. The cow sends up the Barnyard for a second time. As now with the quickness, Hilly into the back line. Still gets the knockout. Video's there for the flame. Gets another shutdown. The chain lets get another one too. The setup from Hilly's beautiful. The knockdown from Vitality, perfect. And Video on Silas is unchained. Someone must put this guy back in prison because he's an outlaw on the run. A clean ace for Vitality, and that may very well just be the game. They have the Nexus in their eyes. They've got minions at their back. They're looking to take the first. In what is a 32-kill game in 26 minutes. I tell you what, we've gone from top lane and doing that dance once again to now running through mid and ending off Vitality in 26 minutes. When you want to play with blood, you better be sure to be ready for Vitality's level. Game one is theirs. Time that they, they run at you, whatever pressure comes uh, towards both lane early game, they're going to be fine. And then it's going to be pretty easy for, for Dark Class to make sure that your solo lanes are set up for success yeah. early. Very similar to that from game yeah. one. You can tell they kind of... And then they have no summoner for the Dragon. Exactly, so it leads right? into an objective, leads into a bigger play. I think it's an important discussion because these teams already, as we start fighting on the bottom side, might be the same. Kazi in trouble! Level one, Kazi heals away the flash match in first blood! To super! Oh, look at mid. El Yoya and Alvaro hovering around. Vito hovering on the top side where his jungler is for safety. One out of the walk. It turns into a dive onto Frescawi. The damage there. Daglas gets it, but they flash onto him. He gets out immediately. Alvaro burned his flash. El Yoya. Lane, no flash for Kazi. But he didn't use his flash in the mid lane. So El Yoya has everything. There's the engage once again. Level two is they might not even need the jungler. Kazi just going to dart a super again. Tom Kent jumps out. Sympathize video, not going to be one of them. Oh, here. now they're spotted. They are indeed, but at 1400, it's getting dangerous. Oh, yeah, with the flag and dragon, but the still vitality need the burst. Shattering strike with smite is enough. Yes, it is. But the knockback is denied. Daglas can't get out. He's got his flash available now, right? But doesn't want to burn it. And he won't. Frescow, he picks up the kill in the cost. That's right. It was reckless in the interview where he said, I think 100 stacks at. Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on, knock up. Oh, actually, Kazi in a bit of trouble. He's got his summoners available. He gets eaten up, though, as Super still hasn't rooted back in for the time being. The spit out is there. Hilly takes the damage, and Kazi survives. Without using any summoners is good, but MDK still beneficial on the trade once again. It's the value of the Tom Kench in this 
and then I don't remember what the number is, okay, so it's shameful of me, really. No, <laughs> that's all right, look. We just pretend on a number, that's a full in engage though. Quickness, but the root out! Cards with the ulti back and Hilly gets the kill! Alvaro, that's the second time you've overstepped under the turret, and this time you've been punished harder. Even though he was on a bottom team, he was sick. People had, uh, people rated him very highly. Alvaro in danger. And there's a flash with the Magnus Storm. Alvaro gonna get on oh. out, and yeah, it's a whole uh, I mean, Hilly's the go to support. What can you say? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Let's see who's the go to the team fight, though. Yoyo with the engage. Oh, the Magnet Storm disengages Alvaro. Now, I think Video is still dead indeed. As the quickness or the Spirit Rush rather from Mirwin brings it on an in. Douglas now the new target, but eaten up. Save the day. Hilly brings it back as Vitality survive under their turret, but five members are here. Five members need to make the play work. Mirwin says, okay, but I need a Spirit Rush. Because his plates go down now. That's a very squishy turret top. And it's gone. Yeah, it certainly is. So Photon it's will not gonna be enough to defend this, especially with Alvaro making his way towards the bot lane as well. Super coming mid though, actually might find a pick here. Spirit Rush as well. Just runs straight on in. Super sends out the feathers. Video gets rooted up. The most aggressive 80 carry play. I've seen in a while from the LEC is Mirwin now in trouble on the backside though. Destiny used from Photon finds the 80 carry itself and MDK forced that play, but Vitality used it. Yeah, Black and Drag is there. Now Douglas ain't tanky enough. He went Knight's Power first. He re-engages so because Kazi's in. nearby. Hilly as well has a knockup. This is gonna turn into an MDK overextension again, but with Destiny brought in, it depends on the convergence. Super doing his damage onto Hilly while in the choke now. El Yoya goes back on in, so does Alvaro. Frescao flips him back and takes down Hilly. But look at Photon, he needs to be the carry. Here is the charm. Connects with the shockwave, gets him off him. He's healed up by the ball, but again, Mewen is starting around the fight. Gets the shutdown, but has traded off him. We're just doing it again, aren't we? Vitality find a response. A pick. The problem is that they run into Daglas and Hillisang. Well, MDK are trying to take positions out for a flank. They're trying to close that gap. Good vision control from MDK, but Vitality feel confident. Their frontline is very strong. The flank is being created by Alvaro. Could be a big one. He and it definitely flash. could be. Also, you see on the other side behind the Dragon Pit, they're just stalling for the time being. Here, Here comes Mewen. Here which is going to be a big one, though. Mewen comes in for the charm, finds himself Kazi. There's the quickness as well, but eating up. That was everything. Well, we get a three-man crash down from Daglas and a one-man ulti from Frescao. It's the re-engage that hurts so much. Mad want to make the miracle run like Winter, but Vitality have grown. They've achieved so much. Four kills, they've started the Baron, but El Yoya is here. Now this could be risky. Hilly goes in. Yeah, he just does, he does, doesn't he? Okay, Alvaro's here for a knockup, but instead they're looking towards the Baron. Alvaro trying to get their award goes down and at 4K, now trying to get He's creating it. space. He's he is, that is, he is indeed. Memes aside, El Yoya now, oh my <laughs> God. At 5 HP, he could have the steal, but be your how they use this Baron. They're waiting for Photon off on a side lane. Exactly what they need to do, set up a 4-1. And they're going to start sieging onto the base. Now, this Baron probably isn't enough to Ooh. break open the base. Uh, oh, you just use flag and drag. Magnus Storm going to be used as well. The Shockwave getting geared up as the Cataclysm is in, but Kazi just knocks him down. What a pick from Daggers. What a prediction. And a good punish on the jungler of Mad, Co uh, Mad Koi. Nice use of the ultimate there. If you E early, and the, the ultimate can drag you out of range if yeah. you then try to Q. He held on to it, tried to throw out the ulti. But he ends up losing his life. And I spoke about earlier, I didn't expect them to be able to knock down these tier 3s, but I stand corrected with the loss of Jarvan. They may even convert this into an inhibitor. Super and Alvaro need to be careful. A collapse is very real. I mean, inhibitors is going to drop down. I mean, as you said, Super and Alvaro, as they step out here, there's a quickness going down for the engage. Photon is just dead. No save from Daglas and no time catch nearby. A mistake from Vitality as the teleports are coming in. And now the punish could continue. Alvaro getting the eat up here from Hilly as he saves Video's life. But as he gets spat back out, Mirwin brings the Spirit Rush, gets the flash, the Shockwave, the re-engage. Still fire in the bellies of Vitality. Summer. But it's a good season for them. Though. The the regroup overall has uh, them in spring. Oh, yeah. Last year in spring, it was BDS that knocked them down into the lower bracket. The question is, how do they play out this fight, and can they find it? Video angle there is good. As you said, the fight from Mad needs to be good. Super has three items, so he's actually going to go down pretty quickly. And his Baron starts. I mean. Are Vitality going to be able to do the same kind of damage? Dragon gone in an instant. The stacking stop. Teleport committing as well onto the flag. Vitality though, evading the men. And Alvaro took it. Hook 
line and sinker. Now Destiny on the back end, Photon looking to end the world as well. The gold card on this side without cleanse as he flashes away. Super is one hit away from its tournament life ending. And as Kazi takes him down, revenge in this game. Revenge for Winter. I feel like it's being achieved. Vitality heard MDK like cattle as they chase them through the jungle, pick them apart one by one. And with those death timers, they may even look to end the game. It is a little risky. El Yuya and Mirwin are still alive. The wave clear on this Ari is nothing to scoff at. Teleport though. They're gonna try. At the They're very gonna least. try. They're gonna try. They want this BO5 with Fnatic. They want to make the miracle run to MSI themselves. Cataclysm in though. The setup, but it's denied. A shockwave from Video. He says, "Nah, -uh, you ain't getting in the way this time." And finally, that Ari shrugged to the side. Mad are gonna be eliminated. It's no MSI for them, but Vitality are gonna cut the repeat short and try and make their own story onto the big screen. Vitality Once again of G2 versus BDS. I mean, that, that we're all looking forward to, of course, as well. Uh, BO5, and that's where the fun starts with the BO5s in our playoffs as well. I think more importantly, the fact that we are seeing a different story, because I think at the start of these playoffs, just to reflect, we were like, hang on a minute, it all looks like winter again. We got the same matchups in a lot of the cases as well. We got the Vitality BDS knockdown, where Vitality had to play through MDK again. I'm glad it has changed. I'm glad that we are getting a different story and another miracle run to call it you know, early if it does progress past Fnatic. But again, it is a big task to ask, considering when F Fnatic have, you know, a lot of experience on their roster as well. I mean, it's going to be an exciting one. I but feel like that we good. talked yeah. today about how Vitality versus Mad is going to be a scrappy fight. I imagine the same is going to be the case when it comes to Vitality versus Fnatic. Well, that's it for us for today. But at the very least, we get to finish off with a nice interview with Video and Douglas. So we'll hand it over to the stage. Thank you so much, guys. The dynamic mid-jungle duo from Vitality. Thank you guys for joining me. Congrats on winning this one. 2-0. and oh. Quite unusual when we think about Vitality's performance. Tell me about this series, Douglas. Well, I think every new week for us yeah. is new strategies in screens. Uh -huh. And I think we just, like new week, new preparation, and I think we came in. We have a really good strategy today. All right. Vitio, you were laughing when I just said this. So anything you want to add on this and elaborate on the new strategy that Douglas was just mentioning now? Yeah, I think like we tried the weeks before to win streams and go on stage. And sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. So this week we wanted to try like speedrun to lose every scream, to go on stage, and then to have some free wins. So I yeah. think that's the strategy we, we went for this week, and it goes pretty well, I think. So inting screams leads to victory for you guys, that's what you're saying? Yes. Yeah, well, th tell me about your progress. This that's unusual, but why not? I mean, wh whatever works for you guys. Uh, I know that it has not been the easiest split for you, Douglas. I know that uh, at the beginning of the season, I was talking to Mac, who was telling me, we need to reinforce uh, confidence in this player, because when he's confident, he's amazing. Can you tell me about this and the fact that you needed to work on what makes you confident on the Rift? I think the confidence is like, Pressing buttons in game, okay. I think I get champions that are engagers, right? Mm -hmm. So gaining confidence is just to play more forward for me in game. Vitio, you've been in this rookie newer player situation a couple of years back. Now you have to help a newer jungler as well in the league. How do you rate his progress and success so far? I mean, I think I'm pretty impressed because, like, I remember my first split. It was uh, I had like one good first week and then it was like terrible for the whole first split and i think douglas had good game starting the, his first split and now he's having like const, like just good game permanently and i think that's really really good like how fast he, he improved and i think that's great i know that you as well have been progressing on something that we touched on privately last week the fact that when you come into intense series you need to keep your hypes up and you need to stay on the, on the good side and have the good mindset for this. I know that last week, coming back from being 0-1 into winning the series is something that helps you a lot. Can you tell me about how the way you managed to change your mindset during series to be clutch in these moments and not crumble down? I mean, I'm in LEC for like, it's my fourth year now and I didn't have that many success in playoff. I did in regular season 
And uh, I think I always wanted to, to change that because for me, regular season is just useless, obviously, uh, if you lose at the end. And uh, I think right now I, I worked uh, way more on just try to be performing in playoffs and like try to not care as much about regular season and to peak in playoff. And that's what I did in winter. And right now I think I'm going good at playing consistently good in two, uh, during playoffs. So I'm really happy with the progress I'm making. And uh, it's still, uh, I still have to win one best of five in LEC. Yeah. And I, I hope it's, it will be soon. The most important one that you have won right before that will be against Fnatic, of course, who, by the way, predicted you guys to win 2 and oh today against Mad Lions Go. So yeah, I guess they were right here. What do you want to do next week against Fnatic? What do you want to prove against them, personally? What is going to be your goal I going up against Razork? We just want to continue what we've practiced. I think our game against Fnatic in regular yeah. split, uh, I think we did good game against them. We just made mistakes that we worked on, so we'll come well prepared against Fnatic. I hope you will. Two days to get ready as the series is going to be on Monday. We have PGL ready. Do you have anything you want to tell Karzi and Mac who are standing by shocks? No. No? VTO, <laughs> anything you want to tell your teammates? I mean, thank you, Karzi, for making this game interesting. Thanks. All right. Like level one. Like to give us some confidence and some stream reminders. And uh, it was an easy win because of that. Thank you, Kazi. No message. Thank you, Karzi. Thank you guys for the interview. Congrats on making it against Fnatic on Monday. And Shox, over to you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Karzi. You're welcome. Thank you, Karzi. <laughs> yeah, I mean, do you feel like you're the reason you won that series or? I mean, definitely. <laughs> I am the best AD carry after all, so... Yeah, that's actually what Finn said. He, Finn introduced this matchup by saying... Because we had a video of you and all your most funny mic checks. Um, and he said... What did you say? You can tell him what you I said. I said uh, it's the best AD carry in the league versus the self-proclaimed best AD carry in the league. <laughs> that's a, that's a, good it's a banger matchup, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. I liked your Senna game, too. Uh, I think maybe level one was a bit hard for you, but... Uh, maybe level two as well. But level, <laughs> but level five, you, you had it figured out. Yeah, a little dip, love late again, but no. Yeah. I mean, after six, I knew we cannot lose anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Great. That's why you had to give them some hope early, you know? Yeah. 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 Then, then force them to dive you so that you could like get the counter kill. Yeah. I mean, on my def on my defense, I didn't play Senna in solo at all. It was just like freestyle. So I, the the limits were not there, you know, level mm -hmm. one. Hey, when was the last time we played Senna, actually? Long time ago, no? Like even in scrims. We gave up on it like four weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it, uh, I mean, wasn't it quite a hard Senna game to play into their comp? I think it's really easy if you 